You want brekkie? Not yet. Ta-da! It's your favorite. Bacon and brown sauce. Sir? My pleasure. OK, so now I've introduced you to the concept of accepting gifts from your sis, let's talk about the money. Look, I'm sorry. I can't take it. Come again. So, look, any problems or questions, just call me, yeah? OK. It just it has to be in today. Yes, I know. Look, I'm not nagging. It's just it's your first assignment, so... I know, and I won't let you down. No, it's not about me, darling. Look, you know what I'm talking about. It's fine, I've got this. Of course you do. Look, I've got to go. I'm going to miss my tram. I love you. See you later. Bye. Look, I'm not being short-sighted. Yes, you are. Can we talk about this later? No. Is this a bad time? You need to have a word with your dad, cos I'm ready to throttle him. Look, don't drag Sophie into this. Drag me into what? Nothing. She has a right to know. See, you always do this. You're like a bull in a china shop. Has a right to know about what? Well... Auntie Vi, God rest her soul, left me some money. And I think your dad could use it more. Simple as that. There's nothing simple about 200 grand. Come again? I just think that maybe you should think about what that kind of money could do. Exactly. And not to mention Jack. The phrase you're looking for is life-changing, Sophie. It's all upside, Kev. Look, I'm sorry, I just feel wrong. Oh, you're being ridiculous now. He's entitled to his opinion. But he's not entitled to be a complete moron. This money could solve all your problems. Yeah, or create a load more. I can't believe how pig-headed you still are. How'd you put up with it? Well, that's one of his best qualities. This is unreal. Look, everything you say is valid. Money might make things easier, but being on easy street isn't always the best, certainly for a bloke like me. Oh, please, talk some sense into me brother before me head explodes. Look, I understand where you're coming from, but I just think you should maybe respect his decision. You're both flaming certifiable. Thank you. Thanks, love. Listen, this thing between you and my dad, I'm not getting involved. Actually, I wanted to apologise about earlier. I shouldn't have gone off on one. Hmm. Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, one sec. Paula. Hi, love. Yes, I've handed in my assignment, just like I said I would. Yeah? Listen, I can't... I can't talk right now. I'll speak to you when you get home. All right, then. All right, bye. Bye-bye. Everything OK? Yeah, she just worries, that's all. Making sure you've done your homework. Something like that. What course are you doing, anyway? Business management. And you're bored senseless. I never said that. You didn't have to, love. It's written all over your face. Well, I don't know how, because that's what I want to do. Why? Sorry, I don't follow. <laughs> well, it's a simple question. Why are you studying business management? Because I want more from my life. Fair enough. And it adds structure. Is that you saying that, or Paula? No offence, Auntie Debbie. We don't exactly know me very well. True. But I do know what it's like to want more from life and structure. Well, that was never on my to-do list. <laughs> 